I like to look at the jobs data through the eyes of the central bank. What are they looking for? And one thing that uh, Janet Yellen, vice chair of yes. the committee, has been vocal about is looking at job flow. So that monthly payroll number, that 88,000 we got, that's a net new job growth. It matters, though, where is that number coming from? Is it coming more from? The components. Right, the components. So you think as the numerator is the number of hires and the denominator is the number of layoffs. So we've been getting better net job growth. Of course, March was an exception because hirings are pretty much moving sideways. We haven't seen a ramp well, up I'll in hiring. Well, I'll tell you what, Rami, bring, in the, are bring in the camera so, the, so that now, Ellen, you can actually talk to this, uh, what we're looking at exactly, layoffs in so yellow, hires we, in white. We index hires and layoffs so we can just see the relative changes over time. And you can see that the pace of hiring has pretty much been moving sideways. We yep. know that employer surveys have said we're not going to hire more in 2013. We're pretty much happy with the staff we've got. And we've seen the number of layoffs decline. And so that's really where the, the better net job creation has been coming up until now. Layoffs have been dropping. Hires have remained the same. So you get a better net job creation. Understood. Now, we have two more uh, charts in 90 seconds. So let's go right to the unemployment rate, 7.6%. Yeah, 7.6%. It's been a low slog downward uh, trend, too slow for the Fed's liking. It still remains significantly higher than the 6.5% threshold that they've said would be a, a trigger to start discussions around when to raise rates. We're not going to get there anytime soon. You heard from Michelle Meyer earlier. Right. Their expectations is not until late 2015. That's in line with our expectations as she, well. She, of course, the economist at, at Bank of America. Are you two agree? It's going to take a long time. And finally, here's the real concerning part. It's the breakdown of who's not getting jobs right now. Exactly. So the labor force participation rate you mentioned earlier on the show is why the unemployment rate came down. The labor force participation rate dropped. The Fed is concerned about the two middle age ranges, the 25 uh, to, uh, uh, sorry, on the graph there, it should yep. say actually 25 to 44 and 45 to 59. Those are prime working age years. We should not see a decline in participation rates for those age groups. That's worrisome for the That's Fed. That's a problem.